Matthew listening in Georgia. Hey, Matthew, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, I think uh, 9-11 was an inside job to myself. I've seen on YouTube, and I know anyone can look at it. It's on a bunch of them on there. You can see Bush when he was in the classroom on the day of 9-11, right at, as it was happening, the towers were getting hit. He had The children in there were being made to say, plane must hit steel. And they have them, their pack packs right in front of them, and make them almost like they're bowing to go get their Is bus. this the same video I, where, like, he gets whispered in the ear the news of what happened? Exactly. Okay. I think it's some uh, kind of esoteric occult stuff myself. Well, th- now you've taken this to another step, right? Like, yeah, it's, I it's one thing to claim that uh, thermite has been added to, you know, over the course of what at least has to be 30 days, maybe 60 days, to rig these buildings up with thermite. But now the suggestion. Now they're like, flaunting it. You know, rather than somebody's taken a video and dubbed um, some kids saying, uh, you know, plane must hit steel on it, that the likelihood is is that, uh, that occult people have taken over the White House and they are so effing stupid as that they would make it obvious to anybody that what they're doing well maybe they want it to be known well, why, so well, why, why don't they just grab well, up on, somebody? Mark, <laughs> calm down for a little bit i'm curious i'm actually really curious about this like there is this idea that there are occult people in politics and in hollywood and they kind of show off that they're in charge and by like flashing their symbolism around so well you know i, I think what it is they let Others in their group, they know it right away when they look at it, and they know most people don't really care or believe it when they see it in their face. I mean, you can look at the on the street view on map, look at the White House, and you see it's an inverted pentagram there. And well, even the Pentagon itself is a pentagram itself. Well, there's there certainly by. oddities with Washington, D.C. Like, I've never been able to understand how, why Washington, D.C. looks exactly like the Vatican. You know, right down to the the Washington Monument like it? looks like right up in St. Peter's Square. Yeah. They I mean, like the Vatican? But, yeah, but Matthew, I'm curious, like, what is the point, what would be the point of um, uh, occult people in these positions of power, like, flaunting it by showing off these symbols? Well, I think they're just praising uh, Lucifer, the devil they worship. He's in the devil. I think they're wanting a new world order. You see Bush, you see them all, Obama, every one of them. Thanks. Every single one of these presidents and leaders, they all say, you can even look at the Pope, yep. uh, John Paul II, you can see him say, a new world order. Well, Thanks for the call, Matthew. And. Mark, did you have something? The fact that somebody says a new world order as a catchphrase does not make them a Satanist. It makes them somebody who knows a catchphrase. I would like to see a new world order. Hey, I would like to see a new world order. <laughs> Uh-oh, and Mark. that world order is a world order that's far more peaceful, far less of this believing in the devil crap, too. Good Lord in heaven, this is 2014 and you people believe in demons? Wake up! This is what people in deserted Stone Age, living in Stone Age conditions and deserted islands believe. Uh, I'd like to move past the religiosity myself. But, I mean, d- it makes sense that there are people in positions of power who want to control the world. Uh, it's uh, just how successful are they Well, being? what doesn't make sense, in my opinion, is that there's like this overarching thing. I could, be- I could almost believe that there's multiple groups of people that have different pl- ideas for what they want for a new world order. are fighting against each other for I mean, control? T- certainly every religion's pulling this off. You know, just they're out in the open. And so to think <laughs> that there could be secret ones doing it, of course. But, uh, you know, I don't think that there's just that one, you know. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 